Hey guys, so today I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of items that I got from the local swap meet um, on Friday. Um, sorry I didn't post on Friday, but here I am. I'm posting today. Um, so yeah, so let us begin. So I got a couple of earrings um, from a vendor. Um, not the same lady that I get my, um, my jewelry from. This is another vendor. Um, it was a man. He had a, um, like one of those, um, cookie tin thingies. Um, he had a bunch of earrings in there. And these are the best earrings that I found. Um, that were like retro and like, so like 70s, 80s type of earrings. So yeah, so I grabbed them. They were, um, he wanted $2 each. But I told him, if I get a couple, would you let him go for a dollar? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. So I got a couple just so I could get them at a dollar plus. They were like these, um, they were cute. So I was going to get more than just one pair. Um, so yeah, so here I am. So I like, these are my best ones, guys, these red ones. Because they are all plastic. Even the little um, thingy right here that goes in your ear, it's plastic. That one's straight, and then this one's kind of bent a little bit. So, yeah, those are my favorite right there. And then I like these right here. Um, they um, resemble, like, the like um, the end of the day um, bake light where um, um, people who, people or, like, people are, like, like, yeah, like, people that were inventing, like, um, bracelets at the end of the day they would put um the end of the um leftover bake light mix it and make um different um um bracelets but these are earrings guys these are not bake light. these are just plastic but that's what it reminded me of so that's why i got them so yeah and they're cute too and then i found these these are um hot pink guys I don't know why one of them looks faded, but they are hot pink. They look pink on my camera. Um, I found similar ones online, like these ones. And they were labeled um, 80s, 90s um, earrings. So, yeah. So, they're really cute. These are not labeled. Um, none of them are labeled. They don't have a name on them. So, if you grew up with these kind of earrings... Um, let me know what year they are. Um, I'm pretty, I'm guessing that they are like late 70s into the 80s um, earrings. I could imagine Barbie wearing these because um, I know I've seen like this type of um, design of earring on Barbie. I think it was Barbie and the Rockers. I'm not 100% sure. But I've seen like the little triangle um, earring on Barbie. So, I'm guessing it's like 80s. So, yeah. And then, off another vendor, I got these shoe clips. Um, these I got these from the same vendor that I get my um, makeup from, my vintage makeup. Um, she had bought a couple of bags off Kim, the lady that I get my, my um, jewelry from. And um, she had these, and she sold them for two whole dollars. Um... So, yeah, so I'm excited about that. They are shoe clips, guys. They're so beautiful. They are not labeled. Um, I am guessing that they're from the 60s just because they have a lot of rhinestones. They have diamonds and then they have um, black diamonds as well. So, yeah. And then next I have these three ear pair of earrings um, from the same vendor from, the, from the, um, these earrings. Um... I found these. They look like little apples. I don't know why. I must have been hungry when I got them. Um, they are like a mint green right here in front of me. But my phone is picking it up as turquoise. Um, yeah, so. So, yeah. So, yeah. They're um, like mint green. Like a green apple, guys. So, yeah. And um, this one right here. Hold on. This one. This part gets stuck right there but it's supposed to like dangle just like um if i pick it up like it won't it won't like um like dangle like 
but this one it'll like dangle so yeah so i i don't know like i i'm gonna try to fix that so that i could dangle like the other one so yeah and then i got these right here because they look like um pineapples so i must have been hungry when i bought them because <laughs> um yeah like i thought like these ones look like apples and then this one look like pineapples um so yeah so i must have been hungry when i bought them so that's why i got those um white ones right there and then i got these because i could imagine barbie wearing these so that's why i got them as well so next i bought these clip-on earrings from the lady i get my vintage makeup from so she let it also let them go for two whole dollars and then i found this um tin um little bottle it's it has on the top it says quality snuff america um since 1782 but i googled it and it's from the 60s and then I got this locket off the same lady that I get my makeup from. Um, it is by Coro. And it's pretty cool because when I open it, guys. Hold on, let me open it for you guys. One second. So when I open it, it is a locket, guys. So you put um, um, photos in there. And then when you're going to close it, like you um, close this. Like, hold on, guys. I'm technical difficulties here. So you um put them in like that, and you're supposed to like hold them, guys, because they will open again like that. See? So yeah, so you close it, and then um, you close it again with the little um thing up here. But it is by Coro. It says pat number, and there's a long number on there. Um, I tried googling it, but I didn't find anything of it. But um, I'm guessing it's from the 50s or 60s. Because of the little flowers. So, yeah. And then, off the same lady that I get my vintage makeup from, I um, I got this um, C-Class um, flower brooch. Um, I found another one online similar, exactly like this. Um, it said gold tone on hers, but mine looks more brassy-like. I get this from like the patina of its age. I don't think I'm gonna like clean it up. Um, um, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I have cleaned like um jewelry that has been tarnished like this with vinegar, and it like turns it back to gold. But I like the color it has on it right now. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave it alone. So yeah. And then I have this compact. Um, it's not labeled, guys. Um, so I'm not sure who it's from. I popped out the dish. And there is no um, name on it. Like, the bottom of the dish, there's no name on it. So it still has some powder. I was guessing it could have been Estee Lauder. But I know that Estee Lauder labels her... Her... Um, product just because the the powder looked like it could have been from estate lauder so next i got well i didn't get it it was given to me for free um by the vendor the husband of the lady that i get my um vintage makeup from i bought a couple of hot wheels off of him um a couple of um matchbox cars off of him um they are tootsie roll and a tootsie pop um let me go get them so i can show you guys i gave them to my son so he put them away so let me go get them so i can show you guys what they look like okay so here they are so i bought a couple of hot wheels and these matchbox from him he tried to get me to buy off all of his hot wheels but some of them were too modern for me I only like collecting the boxes that have like from the 1990s and lower. Um, so yeah, so these are from Matchbox. They are um, Tootsie Roll. It is a Hummer. 
and the year on the box is 2019 so these are modern for me so um but it's okay because it's from um it's a candy so yeah so that's how i got it and i like the graphics on it too but i let my son have them well i put them with his stash like you can see like the wall right there it's full of um hot wheels and then he has more hot wheels in in his room on his walls um so yeah so i um let him put him in his sash and i said hey they're still mine all right so you can't sell them so there are two for six cars in this matchbox collection so i can barely read them guys the letters are too little for me like um my vision gets blurry um, so it's the Tootsie Roll and Chromobile and Austin Minivan, I think it's what it says. And then the Volkswagen Beetle and a Ford GT40 and my phone went blurry. Um, then the Volkswagen Caddy Delivery. So yeah. So there's one, and then there's this one, the Tootsie Pop. And then this is the, the Volkswagen, um, the one I said last, the Volkswagen. Um, oh, I can't even read it, guys. Like, it's blurry. Caddy Delivery. So, yeah, so it's from 2019. So, yeah, so, and then I also got... Um, I found a Chuck E. Cheese card, guys. So, it's from Chuck E. Cheese. I love the graphics on this one. I also got them from from the the vendor that is the husband to the lady that I get um, my vintage makeup from. Um, so, yeah. So, I love the graphics. This one is from 1998. So, yeah. I like collecting Hot Wheels, but not every Hot Wheel. Um, I just collect, like, the unique ones, like this one, like Mickey Mouse one. Um, it's the little boat. Um, and it is from... The box date is... To, hold on, guys. It's blurry. Hold on, guys. I can't even... I need glasses, guys. Like, I need to go see, um, I think it says 2010. I'm not sure. And my phone won't focus. Or maybe I'm trying to focus in the wrong spot. No, it's definitely right there in that little corner, but I can't. I think it's 20, I think it's 2020 or 2010. I can't read it, guys. I'm super blind. I need to go see, uh, one of those eye doctor guys those where you go get your glasses from i don't even know what the heck they're called and then my son got this winter schnitzel hot wheel not from that guy that um i got my the free um batman bracelet the box on this the date on this box is 2006 and then i got from another vendor um, I got, um, the Beatles. And the date on this box is 20, 2022. And I don't know if this one made ever made it into a video. It probably did. I'm not sure. It's the Jetsons. I found it at Walmart. So, yeah. And then I have the Homer Simpson car up there on the second row, the third car. <laughs> yeah. And I have another Simpsons car. I think I mentioned that in one of my videos. Um, where he um, has his brother goes broke because Homer um, made him invent a car um, that would separate him and the kids. Um, it's just an ugly car. <laughs> <laughs> and his brother went broke. Well, his company broke. So, yeah, these are Genesis, and I found this one at Walmart, and the date on this box is 
it says 2022 yeah 2022 so yeah anywho guys i got this one for free because i told him um he tried to get me to get all of his hot wheels and i said oh no it's okay um my son he's more like a gamer and he just collects certain um hot wheels but i told my other son he likes coll um, collecting Batman stuff. So he had this Batman. I don't even know he had this Batman bracelet. He said, like, here, um, let, give this to your son so he can collect it. So it's from 1995, guys. So, yeah. And then lastly, I have these um, Christmas cards. Um, Chippendales, Happy Holidays. Um, Mickey Mouse, A Jolly Holiday. I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday, guys. Um, and then Bambi. Um, just for you. And then um, Chip and Dills again. It's a repeat. Happy holidays. And Donald Duck. It's Christmas. And Goofy and Minnie. Um, it says all chucks. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a nice one, whether it's day or night. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.